Hey everyone, it's JoJo, and today I have brand new Beyblade Legends 2 packs. So we have three right here. In my other video, I unboxed the Balance Type 2 pack, but now I have the other types. So on the left, we have the Defense 2 pack, which comes with Grand Cetus and Rock Zarafa. Here we have the Stamina 2 pack, which comes with Flame Sagittario and Thermal Pisces. And here in the middle, we have the Attack 2 pack, which comes with Ray Gill and Cyclone Herculeo or Herculeo. So I got these off of Amazon.com and I've also been seeing them in Target. In Target they cost $17.99 but on Amazon they cost $19.99. Um, if you're willing to dish out the couple extra dollars to get the ones on Amazon I would recommend that because I've been going to different Targets lately and a lot of Beyblade Legends are sold out or there's only like one or two in stock. Uh, so either take your chance going to Target and, sp and getting them a little bit cheaper or spend your money on Amazon so that you could guarantee your Beyblades. Alright, so anyway, in this video I'll be unboxing the Beyblade Legends 2-pack attack type. So let's take a closer look at the packaging. Here is the logo on the top. And you could battle line line at BeybladeBattles.com, but this does not come with a code, unfortunately. So Ray Gill is BB91C. It says 100 RSF, but the track is actually 125, uh, which is really weird. That, m that must have been a manufacturing mistake. On the right, we have Cyclone Herculeo. This is BB94C, Cyclone Herculeo 105F. Both, of course, are attack type Beyblades, and they are right there. Here's the back of the packaging showing you all the stats and parts for each Beyblade. You could pause it if you want to. And you could actually see the spin track says 100, but if you look at the image very, very closely, it is a 125. And when I do the unboxing, I'll show you the difference. And here at the bottom, the other two pack legends, uh, Beyblade Legends, and on the right, we have the Beyblade, Beyblade Legends Base Stadium which I've, I've actually not been able to find in Southern California. I found them in Northern California. So that's about it for the packaging. Let's get to unboxing. All right, so in the packaging, you get your instruction booklet, these two tools, and launchers and rip cords, light launchers and rip cords. All right, so on to the Beyblades. Let's start off with Ray Gill. Here is the face bolt, Gill. It's kind of like a skeletal uh, sea creature or a fossilized sea creature. I want to say a leviathan, but I think that's wrong. Um, but yeah, at first, like way in the way back when I thought Gil was a dog, he kind of looks like a dog to me, if you can look real closely. But no, sea creature. Um, here is the energy ring. Really love the colors black and red like not really a, um, a bright red but more of a like a darker red it looks really cool the design like fossilized looks really cool and Ray used to be a really really good attack wheel because of the gaps right here the fusion wheel or the metal wheel looks really nice and shiny here's the bottom This is actually 125, not 100. As you can see, let me compare it to um, the 105 track. This is 105, and this is actually taller than the 105, so it's a 125. You could tell because it has these two bars right here, and that's how you could tell if it's 125, and this is 105. So that's 125. The um, packaging is wrong, it's labeled wrong. The performance tip, RSF for rubber semi-flat. So it's like a semi-flat tip, that's rubber, of course. A really, really good attack bottom, and it is barred or reinforced on the sides. Um, has a little bit more stamina than a RF because it's smaller, but um, it doesn't move as aggressive because of because it is smaller, it doesn't have much surface area. But um, stamina over aggression, it's up to you, I guess. But still, I, I really like this bottom. 
really good bottom. So that was Ray Gill, 125 RSF. Now on to Cyclone Herculeo. Here is the face bolts. Hercules, representing Hercules. Really like the golden print on this, even though it looks kind of blotchy. Uh, not as clean, it's kind of messy. Still looks really cool, I like the colors on that. And the energy ring, or the clear wheel. You can see the lion's heads right there. Coming down, it's kind of like its mane right here. And um, it looks, it's actually black, I thought it was dark blue, but it's black print on that. Really cool like a gold and black color there. Really nice. Cyclone, also known as Tornado in Takara Tomi. I really like this wheel. Cyclone Herculeo, also one of my favorite Beyblades, just because it looks really nice. So it's got like five wings up here. Attack type metal wheel, or fusion wheel. And 105, we do kind of went over this. Short attack type track. And flat is the performance tip. Again, reinforced with the bars over here. So, let's build these Beyblades. So, if I remember correctly, both of these Beyblades are owned by. Um, the Garcias, I think. Can't remember. Team Garcia. All right, so here is Ray Gill, one twenty five. RSF Cyclone Herculeo 105 F Really nice looking Beyblades. Now let's go on to a spin test and a test battle. Ray Gill Let's try that again. <laughs> so of course it's going to move in an attack type pattern but unlike R2F or RF, it doesn't really reach the outer ring or the inner ring, I guess you could say, of the stadium. It kind of stays toward the middle. Because it is smaller, it's semi-flat. Cyclone Herculeo, 105F. Now this Beyblade is going to have a little bit more stamina because it's just a flat tip, it's not a rubber flat. Or a semi-rubber flat. But, it doesn't have a lot of stadium uh, grip, so it's most likely to get a stadium out. Right, time for a test battle. And a stadium out to Cyclone Herculeo, Ray Gill. Let's do one more battle. Ooh, that would have been a stadium out if it wasn't for that wall. Looks like Ray Gill is losing some stamina. Maybe Cyclone Herculeo will win this one. Yes, and it goes to Cyclone Herculeo. So that is about it for my unboxing of Hasbro's Beyblade Legends, the Attack Type 2-Pack with Ray Gill and Cyclone Herculeo. I'm really glad Hasbro is coming out with Beyblade Legends, not because I know that they're trying to uh, draw out the Beyblade line, but more because a lot of people are getting into Beyblade, just getting into Beyblade, so there are not a, a lot of new Beybladers out there. 
Um, so this is a really good way to introduce like the older Beyblades from Metal Fusion, Metal Masters, Metal Fury, so that they everyone could catch up, all the newcomers could catch up. And I'm really get, glad that there are people still getting into Beyblade. A lot of you think that they're dying, but no, there's still a lot of people uh, just discovering Beyblade. So I'm really happy about that. And it's, this is a good way to introduce the newcomers to the older Beyblades. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Don't forget to favorite and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time with a lot more Beyblade. See you soon.